YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Tim Westwood TV with our very, very special guest. Now, still a controversy for me is the correct pronunciation because motherfuckers be telling me different things all the time, brother, to confuse me. Mm. Like Ghanaians tell me the wrong name and they're not doing it deliberately because yeah. these are shorties take that I'm shot. smashing. Take a shot now. So, Just take a yeah. shot. I say Sacco Day because okay. I am Ghanaian. <laughs> Whereas non Ghanaians <laughs> might say Sakodi. And isn't that the Prime Minister of France who got sacked or something? Sarkozy. Because oh, Sarkozy, <laughs> fam, what is it, fam? Sarkozy. Sarkozy. Let's see. Let's see. Number bro. one. You got it. Number got one, it. fam. What do you like to be called for somebody who has trouble with pronouncing? Sark. Sark. Just Sark. Well, I want to be, big you up. Happy Independence. Heard you smashed it down. Thanks. Washington. Thanks. Sell off. Thanks. Ghanaians come out strong. Came out strong in New the York. The whole of Africa the was in the building. Yo, the whole Africa of Africa is in America. Yes. Strong. The There's invaded. Africans all over the world now. That's true. And we're Everyone. invading. And big up to people like you. You know, you made um, Afrobeat, you know, what it is today. You're part of the whole movement. You you brought us up to this platform. So My brother, I am just blessed to, to be, be sitting with you, family. Bless you. Uh, bless. bless. Now, you. obviously, a lot of Ghanaians in Atlanta yes. as well. So you smashed that down. And is that how the Ace Hood Connect came about? Um, yeah, it started from that point, I think. As you're saying, Africa is actually there where now the states or everywhere want to have a piece of Africa. Mm. You know, we want to have a piece of them as well. Mm. I, I said this one one interview a while, a while back that everybody has had their fair share. I think Europe has been there. Um, America has had it always. Um, Asia had one or two people come up do like some huge records, and now um, in Jamaica as well. You know, but now it's, it's time for it's, it's the time yes, of Africa, Africa. and you have to be part of it, or else you're going to be left out. Because it's going to be the, the only thing that people would be interested in. Mm. Afrobeat is going to be everywhere. So the likes of myself, R Two Bs, um, um, Stone Boy, exactly. El, um, yeah, anybody like Wiz, David. Shout out people from yes. Ghana right now. Yes, <laughs> we are going to be the ones. So you will need a vest <laughs> to survive. Oh, for real. <laughs> so you think it's all about Ghana? Um, I, I would say Africa. Okay. You know, Ghana because West Africa. West. Um, Africa in general. Africa? Yes, Africa. Okay. Every, everyone from Africa. Because like, they're killing it from the south to yes. to the west everywhere. Yes. Like Africa, Africa is really yes. on top. If I take my top um, artist for last year and maybe early this year, it's probably going to be, some are going to come from South Africa. Um, Who? I'm getting South Africa, I'll say AKA. AKA, okay. um, smashing it. AKA is Casper, Casper is smashing point, that hip hop you know, baby. Yes. Selling out stadiums straight so you can see what's happening now like mm. africa is actually invading and mm. we are we are entering your spaces like wherever you are you can see us there we are, we, are, we are coming you have to be part of the whole movement exactly man. yeah and the music incredible yes yes and there's a lot of that. uk afro beats now as well have yes. you absorbed much of that have you paid attention to that yet um uk afro beat artists yes N not not necessarily paying attention to it but i think um, obviously, I'm from Ghana, so the one I see most is Fuse. You oh know. my days, Fuse is out of control <laughs> right it. now. Fuse it. Fuse is the idea he's of what like we right really now. want to do. You know, he's actually doing it, like taking what we had back home to the people that has to like really hear it. You know, this guy's performing to like a, a, a whole total different race and all that. Like, it's would you say he's the Sean Paul of Afrobeats? Um, that that. Yeah, I think I can agree with that. Yeah. He's really done like a lot. A lot of white folks love him. Yes, he's really done a lot. Mm. You know, big up to Fuse. <laughs> now, how important, besides sales and concert money and T-shirt money, <laughs> is the white crowd to you? Um, it's not. It's not necessarily white crowd. I just feel the white like folks. The white. <laughs> Seriously, how important? It's just it's the white folks. It's just always nice when somebody. It's who more folks, isn't it? Uh, more folks, more money. <laughs> True. Exactly. It's just, it's just what's the color of money? Ah, uh, whatever, whatever it, whatever it comes in, in that country. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think um, just anybody else who doesn't speak your language and doesn't understand you exactly. and listens to you, that's more like um, you're doing something right, and it makes yes. you want to do more. So even yes. as you said, having even you listen to me, that's like. I really want to work hard, you know, and it's, it's just refreshing mm. having a new crowd that you're not used to. Are you? Yes. And I came up, I came up as a battle MC, so I'm used to trying to impress someone. So mm. I'm actually 
not too cool with always knowing Sako Day when you show up, everybody is shouting and screaming. It's already like a down deal, you're going to kill the show. I like it when I'm being challenged. Like I have a tough crowd mm -hmm. sometimes and I have to make sure by the time I end with the show, they, they clap. Yeah. You know, so I like, down, a new, I like new smash crowds. it down, yes. and I have seen you smash it down. Thank you. Many times, yeah. baby. You come on that stage and there's a different thing happening right now. Thank you. I, I feel you, baby. Yes, you I feel you. Now, congratulations on this, Alex shows, and you're obviously going to do the same at the O2. Yes. Big hype, big excitement. You, you know, shame you weren't here for independence, baby, but you mm. just... It was still the same. I had to just same, be baby. everywhere. I wish yes. I was like 13 yes. and then I could just go anywhere like at the same time. I was in DC and at the Echo stage, that was a very, very huge concert. Like thousands of people trooped in and it was, Massive. you know, like it was, it was just epic. We did the Apollo, as you said, um, last year. It was crazy. Mm. Um, I want to repeat that in the, in the UK. I normally don't do shows here because I want this type of show. And yes. finally, exactly. it's here. Big ups to my team, um, Success Music. They came up with the idea. They believed in me that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a worth smash. it you know yeah, yeah a smash. Do it, so Do it's it. about to go down if you don't have yeah. your ticket you need yeah. to get it right now asap is happening on the 11th of march it's, it's all about to happen baby yes. now first things first you're taking the last album you went back baby yes why did you go back to high life why why did you go back to that live band that singing baby yes like uh, you know the movement now is afro beats baby. yes why did you take it back I mean, and, and would you say Afrobeats and the hip life, they even them is different? Um, it depends on how you fuse it. I mm. think music is just music. We just put the, the tags on them just to make it mm. easier to, you know, select on a playlist or something. But I think good music is good music. Mm. You know, you can play any music at any time that you want, you know. Mm. And going back to my, my old high life music, I thought who could have done it best than if not South Korea. I have the numbers now. I have people looking at me now. And the, th the only thing I can do is just show y'all this is what we used to do and this is what we're still doing but it's indigenous music back yes, home you yes. know and i'm the only person who can actually tell the new ones who have never listened to high life when when they were born because they, they were born on my music which is more hip life hip-hop you know but they don't know about high life and who's mm. best to really take them back than me so i i chose to go back and for one good inspiration that inspired the album to start with was my grandma who really wanted me to do seriously yes so cause that's that's her name on the album that's mary you know that's that's my so granny. you took it back for your grand? Yes, for my grand. Yeah, she she died, and I had to honor her. So oh, for real? Yeah, rest in peace. Her Antonella. generation of music, man. Mm. She would have loved that album. Man. I know, I know, definitely. So if you see the cover of the album, that's her face on the on the album. Wow. Yeah. And how did the Afrobeats audience take to that? Mm, I, I did not really had like. We didn't really have a conversation on how the reception was going to be. It's just more of what I felt, because I believe music is now. To do this yes, I, f I feel music now. Most artists are trying to keep up with what they think people want, which mm. is a mistake. That's why we are always stuck in one style of music. Like everybody is sounding the same, because you think that's what you're supposed to do. Mm. If you're not supposed to release an album within two years and that's how you feel, you need to go with that, because you need to listen to your instincts. And I believe in my instincts. What I was listening to myself at that time, I felt like I was going the same thing over and over again. I was just tired of even listening to it myself. You might make some money, but I'm doing this music. Money, money, yeah, money is, 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 is um, a motive, of, co yes, of course. Of but course. I think legacy and what you want to leave behind is very important. Mm -hmm. So people might not accept it. You know, they go like, oh, Sako, there, you need to rap, because how, how can you go and sing or go on high life beats? It's my, it's my life, and I have to make sure that I end it really well. And this album is a classic. I know people are still um, dancing to it and listening to it, it takes time to grow on you, but it's worth it. You know, I had to make that decision at that point because I felt I needed something else and I had to go back to her life. On your terms, baby. Yes. On your terms. Yes. So about the new album then, mm. what's happening? Um, as in the one not, not released not, yet? Not the, the one coming, baby. <laughs> um, I'm going back. I'm still... I'm, I'm super random, um, Tim. Like with, with the Mary album, the High Life album, trust me, that was not planned. Mm. I was just, you know, my, my granny left, and in the same month, I thought, okay, why don't I switch that energy to do, you know, high life? So I'm really unpredictable. I can't even predict my own self. I can't even know what I would do, because I don't really necessarily plan too much on mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. But what I can assure you is I have loads of music, because I'm, I'm a workaholic. I record a lot. So lots of music. Um, it's possible I can drop something even tomorrow. Yeah, you know? for real, so man. Definitely, it's just some, good, surprises coming, some man. good music, good um, features, you mm. know, great beats, you know, from hip hop to anything. Like any any music lover, you're just gonna love it, anything I'm gonna put out because I have everything for everybody. Yeah, man. Yes. 
Shout out to Mensa, baby, up in the team. The untouchable good, DJ, good, DJ Mensa. Mensa. Out there doing it, <laughs> repping, man. I mean, shout out to all the DJs, shout out to Black yes. and Bigs and everyone. DJ Black, They're everybody like, back home. Go to big up Mensa, man. He's yes. the man, man. He, you know, he brings me out to GH all the time with Edwin. No, no, but he's the best know. DJ I think in the so. whole world. Smashes like, it down, DJ baby. Mensa is the best DJ. If you come to the Sarko Day concert, and that's the main reason why when I'm about to do a show, I'm not too tense or like, people ask me, are you, are you nervous? I'm like, I'm, I just want the day to come. I wish it was tomorrow, mm. you know, because I know when, when I have Mensa, I'm only nervous when Mensa is not around. See, I'd, I'd yeah. be worried if he was around. <laughs> I'm just saying how I personally feel. Like, when he's around, I get nervous. So like, no, but you seriously. dope, you dope, you dope seriously. too. Like, you dope. I get just but nervous. Th you have to give it. For <laughs> yes. me, for now, I'll give it to Mensa. Like, Mensa is the one, like, yeah, untouchable he's the one DJ. Smashing it down, yes. baby. And it's going to be finest, epic. Baby. What, what's going to happen is we're going to have Mensa and then the band, the composers. The and composers yes. going to be crazy. And it's going to be combining these things, two man. worlds together. And then I'm going to be in the middle and then just deliver music back to back from when I started to today. Mm. And a couple of new um, exclusives for the fans. Oh, I'll be smashing it, yes. baby. Crazy. Shout yes. out to all day. Now, yes. I've heard that you have renamed the radio station War FM. What happened? Did the I do Man's that? World, baby. Peace <laughs> FM. What happened? <laughs> what oh, it was a Man's World. Man? Oh. You did like, yeah. you're arguing with radio stations now? Are you no, crazy? No, what no, happened, no, man? No, I'm not. You see, um, as influential as I can be, I think sometimes it's really, really scary and dangerous on how you construct your words. And, uh, when I see the feedbacks I get, I'm like, okay, I just said something. It was basic. Like, I didn't, it's not that deep. I actually addressed just two personalities on radio. Mm. And the first one was even love. Because what I said to the first one was, um, you keep talking about me, and it's basically because I think you really, really got love for me, which yeah, might exactly. be true. You know, yeah, that's what absolutely. I said. Like, you, maybe you have love for me. And then exactly. you, you, what, what I'm saying is, Sorry. genuinely, maybe he actually do got they love got and love care. Maybe. Yes. So care. maybe, you know, the fans are actually, you know, took that out of contest, yes. you know, um, but I was just saying, basically, maybe you actually do have, have love for Sarko Day, and that's yes. why you, you always talk about Sarko Day. The next one, uh, there was an incident, I went to a radio, like maybe me coming here today, mm. and um, I was sitting there for like, getting to one hour, and a guy came out, and the guy told me, okay, the show is done, we are late. I'm like, okay, cool, you know, but I actually had like, let me put you in that contest. I actually had Tim screaming in the room, which I don't know what it was about. So when I left, it was on Twitter. Oh, I sacked Sarkozy out of my studio, which didn't happen because I didn't even see. You didn't go into the studio. I didn't even see. So what like, was all that about? You know, that's what I, I addressed. I'm, I was like, "Yo, Tim, what happened? Yo, Tim, I came over because you know I got love for you, and then we have a con after we had a connection. I'm just coming here to just and then you what know, happened? Show I don't understand. So you went to the station. Yes. And then you was waiting to yes. go on the station. And then somebody comes out. Um, we are late and we can't go on, so we leave. And then there was some screaming in the back. I had, I, yeah, I had someone pissed. In, inside, I didn't know what was happening. You know, so me, me trying right? to me trying to connect it, I saw I saw it on the net that um, I sucked Sarkozy. I'm like, no, nah, I didn't even see you. So um, I, it's just so a dress. Put that one straight, fans. Yes, just just to make the fans because understand. Sometimes, like you know, the industry in GH can be a little wild, can't it? Yeah. Like the Which online is staff, the promotion game. Yeah. The promoters. Can be a little wild over there. Yeah, which is necessary. That makes us strong. Mm. You know, I want that. You know, mm. actually gave me lyrics in, in men's yeah, world. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you shut it down for him. Yeah. Peace of him. <clears throat> <laughs> no, but I love them. Peace of them. They're definitely like on my top five. You know, I listen to them a lot. You know, I was just trying to address this, an, an issue that the fans didn't really get to understand. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Put it straight, baby. Yes. Put some heads to bed. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got to always salute you on that joint you did with Castro, one of the most emotional records of all time. I don't know. Rest in peace to my man Castro. But like, of all the greatest Afrobeat records ever to be made, that will definitely be top five for me forever. Yes, thank I've you. I've never done a party and not played that record, Thank man. you. And Bless it sets an emotional tone in that party, mm. man. It takes the music to a different Bless level, you. man. Bless it's you. not like a, a dance, it's just a record people are feeling. It's classic. Mm. Thank you. Yo, smash okay. the show, baby. Bless you. Friday. You know what time it is. Fans.